Hey there creepy collectors, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drumboy Productions, and today we have been doing a lot of Halloween hunting. We went to a couple of different locations, which you guys will be seeing in a couple of different videos. However, the last place that we are visiting today is a place you normally wouldn't think to look for Halloween stuff. Today we are at Lowe's in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Word on the street is Lowe's has some really badass stuff this year and actually bought up a few different licenses and have some really cool animatronics. So let's go check it out. Light up signs. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. What have they done here? From that hair application, that sculpt, that face. Man's not looking so hot. You are kidding me, bro. <laughs> they couldn't even get the license to the music? I. I don't know what to say about that. Still going, huh? Got Michael Myers heads for H2. Gonna look terrible, I guess. Also plays original instrumental song. I guess John Carpenter wasn't signing off on that one big creepy light up clown face pretty cool a bit of a repaint could be better some tiny creepy animatronics and whoa Jason Voorhees let's take a step back so taking a look at Jason here it looks to be the 09 Jason the hockey mask is definitely not proper I can't tell what his face looks like underneath obviously but the rest of the outfit is pretty close to the Jimmy animatronic but I imagine not as good the finishing on him doesn't look so hot but there's also some inflatable uh, inflatable chucky and michael myers up there along with minions and sneaky and sticks see an oogie boogie down there Let's see if we can try jason out that wasn't his try me okay they may not be plugged in creepy pirate we have a couple projectors here. This one projecting that classic 09 remake image. Not terrible. Eh, not as cool with this one, I guess. Still all right. And then we have, they made their own party projector. You would see this at Spirit, but I guess somehow they didn't get the Halloween license for these. We have Musical Pathway Stakes playing the same song. We have Light Up Jason here. Also not playing any original music or making original sounds. Very odd. Mini Jason heads. I don't even know what the sound effects would be for that. A Jason, one of these party projectors. Honestly, one of the cooler one of these that I've seen. Then we've got Remake Freddy's Glove with Robert England Freddy being projected. If it was just a single spot silhouette projector, maybe, but if it's moving around, I don't see that being that cool. And then we've got Kawaii Freddy head markers. We've got some more 
life-size pieces here. Spooky faced with Grim Reaper, I guess. Very cute large pumpkin. Hanging lips. Spooky hanging clowns. Possessed dolls. Pirate skeletons. Various other standard yard decorations. Looks maybe glow in the dark. Fog machines, lights, fire and ice candy bowl. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see this. The haunted violin. Nice. Mini skull string lights and pumpkin string lights. Ooh, I like that. It's like a blow mold pumpkin. It's really cool. Inflatables. I don't know if the skeleton's part of that or if the, I think it's two separate pieces. So the headstone's one piece and the skeleton's another. Right this way. I actually like that. Classic, super cool ghost projector. Skull with shifting eyes. Also pretty cool. Haunted candelabra. It moves around slightly. That's really, really cool. Rocks back and forth. Okay, this is my favorite. Playing his little harmonica. Head banging skeleton candelabra. Probably how I'd feel too if my hands were candles. And these cute jack o' lanterns. I love that face. Halfway markers. Bloody light bulb. There's a Ghostbuster shadow light or party light. Pretty cool. Haunted Disney one. It's also pretty cool. And then just a standard nondescript Halloween one. I actually like the scenery on this one, I think, the most. That'd be really cool in the middle of a room. Oh boy. It's a good thing Jennifer's not here. That may just end up being a birthday gift. I probably can't hear the doorbell over this, but it does play the whole song. Very impressive, especially for only $23. Stylized lantern? That's a whole lantern, that's cool. Light up pumpkin. It's another snow globe type effect. These are blow molds. Really, really cool. A tree of skulls with Jack's head. Oh, the Geo Swirl. This might be the coolest one. So many cool images. Got Master of Fright. These are. Timer before Christmas. They have a couple of different ones. Different colors and different images. Very cool. Inflatables. The clown with the tearaway face. Man, these are amazing. Lowe's has got really, really awesome Halloween stuff this year, guys. From blow molds to yard inflatables. Cheshire Cat's awesome. 
Trick or Treat Smell My Feet Shrimp, a true family classic. A Halloween Unicorn, of course. A classic Halloween character in his own right. Well, this is for sure the scariest thing we've seen today. Looks like we've got a pumpkin patch here with a wide array of pumpkins. We've got some really cool Time Before Christmas plushes. Two-sided mayor. have some haunted mansions so that's way too cool oh wow they've got more more shadow light that on the wilderness headstone lights up too looks like it these plushes are just too much too much Spooky candelabra down here. Look, look at Madame Leota on the bottom. Rasp on a table. It's time to respond. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Yeah, that should definitely be top show. Really, really cool stuff, guys. Spooky clown animatronic and spooky possessed girl animatronic. Child's play candy. A decent, far away look at some of the inflatables. And that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Not a ton of stuff, but for Lowe's. I mean, it's a lot better than Walmart. For damn sure. Wish we could see Jason move around for us a little bit, but. Well, everyone, that was our trip to the local Lowe's at Hattiesburg, Mississippi, checking out their Halloween selection. And from what I can tell, that's pretty much going to be all that they have this year. I doubt they'll get more stuff, but maybe so. So with this being done, I guess this will pretty much be all of our Halloween hunting for the area, except for maybe a little bit later when Spirit has some more stuff out, like the Ghostface stuff. We might make another trip, but we may even go to a different location for that when it's time. But I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. We found some really, really cool stuff. I'm actually quite impressed this year by the amount of really cool shit that's been put out for Halloween. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Love you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.